In this tumultuous market, keep searching for stocks that have been holding up surprisingly well. Stocks that should be immunized against the coronavirus or a corona-induced recession. Which brings me to Dexcom. It's a company that's been a game changer in the diabetes space. Thanks to their continuous glucose monitoring, CGM, a device that keeps track of your blood sugar without the need to constantly draw blood with one of those finger stick tests. Dexcom's been a fabulous long-term winner with the stock giving you a 370% plus gain over the past five years. And uh, while it's 9% from its highs, thanks to the market-wide breakdown, it's still up nearly 20% since we last spoke to them in mid-January. And we told you, buy, because people misunderstood what they were saying. Like I've told you repeatedly, the medical Medical device space is one of the rare industries where you can wait out the pandemic. And Dexcom's uniquely well positioned because they just reported a fantastic quarter last month. But don't take it from me. Let's check in with Kevin Sayer, President, Executive, Chairman, and CEO of Dexcom. Get a better sense of how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Sayer, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you again, yeah, Jim. Yeah, we do this stuff. Yeah, yeah. we'll do it. All right, all right. Okay, first of all, uh, when you are on last, there were people who actually thought that somehow uh, you had disappointed, which was completely untrue. No. And since then, things have just seemed to have gotten better. They have. It's been a great run for us, and uh, things continue to go very well at the company. One of the things that's really impressive, there's a Morgan Stanley piece came that I love. It's called Transcending the Top Line into Bottom. And what it's about, I want to try to do a teaching moment here, is your gross margins are going up. There were some people who felt that there were other companies nipping at your heels. If that's the case, your gross margins would be going down, not up. You're making more, what, more money per device, uh, uh, certainly doing incredibly well with what you have. We are. We've known for a long time that pricing would come down as we went across right. a broader market. So we've divine, designed our manufacturing procedures and our products to whereby they become less expensive to build as we get more volume. And we're seeing the results of that on the cost side. And we've held pretty firm with prices because the features of our product are much different than our competitors. We offer a lot more. And so far, those who pay for the product have been willing to pay more. All right. Well, you've brought a product. I did. I you brought toys today. You do not. So you got something new. I, I, want to, I want to know about it. This has not been launched yet. This is a derivative of our G6 system. It's called G6 Professional or G6 Pro. This is, we put a transmitter and a sensor in the same box. Okay. It'll be sold to a healthcare professional. And as you walk in, we can put it on patients for diagnostic purposes. One of the things we're very excited about, is this is not labeled just for people with diabetes. No? It's labeled for all people. Wait a second. Why? So for health and wellness or somebody who might be in a pre-diabetic stage, let's see what happening is happening here. A patient can wear it in a blinded mode where they don't see any of the data and the doctor can look at it and check on things like, are you taking your meds? Are you going with a routine? Or they can wear it in a mode where they fall on, see what's going on and can learn about themselves. It's the first time we've had the opportunity to give a patient an experience where they can try it before they actually have to buy the well, product. I mean, I'll tell you, in an era where we keep hearing over and over again from Dr. Fauci and others that uh, diabetes risk is one of the things that makes it so that uh, COVID-19, uh, unfortunately, is, is more devastating. Why wouldn't people go check this out? Well, we, we hope they all do. Uh, and. And it'll be launching here in the next couple of months. So you get a preview before it's even out on the market. Now, will my okay. physician, typical physicians know about this or you have to refer them? Will they refer you to someone? Uh, they'll be able to write a prescription and they'll be able to purchase it from us if they would like to put it on somebody. Absolutely. But it's a trial. You can just get it. And if you like it, I mean, it's kind of. You, you get it through your physician. Uh, but that's where we're selling it to begin with. Ultimately, this is the beginning of what we believe is going to be the revolution in diabetes data where. People will use these devices not only for insulin delivery, but to measure the effectiveness of their type 2 treatments and someday down to health and wellness, to whereby you can see how your diet is actually working, if it is or if it isn't. You have a lot of fans. And, and one of them, uh, whose son has uh, diabetes, was saying to me, OK, look, why can't, because people trust you so much, why do you have to have uh, a company like Tandem, which we had on air, very nice people, or Insulet, who uh, make the... Uh, the tandem pump interacts with you. They want you to make it. They think that you are a reliable brain. Not the other. They didn't knock the other guys, but just saying, hey, a closed loop system would be such a joy. Can you give it to customers? We have chosen to focus on the glucose management piece of the system. We also have an algorithm uh, with a company we bought in Virginia, Type Zero, which is the algorithm that drives the tandem pump. We have viewed the glucose measurement market as a much bigger opportunity for us as okay. you go across all of healthcare, type 2 diabetes. That's the opportunity we're pursuing. We have great partners in Insulin Tandem uh, now and others coming in the future that we help. 
our growth has been so rapid and, and we've had to work so hard to control it, Jim. Right. Well, it's, it's a high quality we, We've problem. grown this as, as fast as we can and we'll keep growing it this way. For when now. you speak to managers, do they say, look, uh, I'm looking for something that has no corona issue, that's not the Fed, it's not, no economic sensitivity, because you may be the least economically sensitive of any company I follow. <laughs> I, we are actually economically sensitive uh, to patients' insurance needs and, okay. and how co-pays fall in and, and, and stuff like that. But no, people are always going to have diabetes, and people who re rely on this technology can't give it up. That's why we take this corona stuff very seriously, and we're putting all the typical procedures in place other companies are as far as meetings and travel and everything. Right. We can't go down. Uh, people depend on us. No, they do, and I know you had that one outage, but you fixed it very quickly. And I think what really matters for people is if you think you have diabetes, oh, my, this, this illness, Corona, is unfortunately after you. Yeah, it could be horrible. Absolutely. That's Kevin Sayer, President, Executive Chairman, CEO of Dexcom. Like I told you last time, when there were some people who actually thought that something was wrong at Dexcom, and we pounded the table, this remains one of the great stories, particularly even in this time where we might have a Corona virus recession. Man, Money's back in. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.